Hello guys, welcome to another vlog. But today, we're gonna be cleaning my house. Right now, it's, there's a lot just going on. I will show you in a second. My, I've got three kids at home today because the girls have not started at their new school yet and a toddler. And let me tell you, that toddler has been so busy this morning making messes. But because I knew I was filming, I kept thinking to myself, I'll leave that and clean it once I'm filming. Now we have this combo of stuff that I haven't cleaned up. Mama! So, we, I'm gonna show you what it's like. Then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get it done. Done. Done, yeah, get it done. I did not have a good night last night. I was not feeling very well. And so, this is how I cope when I can only do like short bursts. So I'll sort of show you what I get done and how long it takes me. So if you're cleaning today, let me know down in the comments and let's do this together. This is a shout out to all of you homeschool mums out there. I do not know how you do it because we have only been doing it for a few weeks and it is intense. So we are just working through some workbooks and as you will see, my toddler, while I'm helping the girls, is getting up to all sorts of tricks behind me, as he does. So if you guys have any tips for me, Leave them down in the comments because we've got a few more weeks of this yet. Okay guys, sorry, truth talk. Here, um, I had to help the girls for a little while and then Hamish has fallen asleep. Hallelujah, he was really grumpy this morning. So, I am not feeling the best today either and my stomach is really upset. So what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself 15 minutes to just tidy this area. I'll give you a look at what it looks like in one second and then I'm going to lie down for a little while. So this is sort of how I do it when I'm not feeling good. I just try and do like one short birth and then have a rest and then one short birth and then have a rest. And so the reason I am so pedantic about staying on top of things and like having a clean kitchen at night is because this, this has happened just this morning. And so I need to keep it at a level where I can manage even on the days where I'm feeling sick. And then I'll come back and do other jobs as the day goes on. We'll also probably go for a walk a bit later. For me, I find that even a slow walk is quite therapeutic for me. It just, you know, I wouldn't go for long and I don't go for a jog or anything, but I can walk for a short amount of time and then have a rest. And I find that is actually beneficial. So I'll probably get to that this afternoon. We'll take the kids out for a run around and everything this afternoon. Now for now, I'm going to get to cleaning this area. I'll show you what it looks like. If you have toddlers, I'm sure you can understand, but for the rest of you, Please be gracious towards me because it's just been one of those days. So let's get started. All right, guys. So as you can see, we've got cupboards open. I've got a towel on my kitchen floor for some reason. Over there, you can't really see it, but Hamish dropped a whole heap of cereal. There's cereal bowls everywhere here. There's a, a blanket. Hamish also dumped a, his toys outside so he could play with them outside. And he also pulled out half a dozen wipes. He pulled a chip packet out of the floor and the tea towel off the oven. And yeah, there's a whole lot going on there. So I'm gonna get to cleaning. I'm gonna give myself 15 minutes, like I said, to just get all of this done. And let's see how far I can get.
Oh my goodness, guys. Can you believe that this is my floor after one meal? My kids just like to spread their meals all over the floor. So I am just vacuuming up. I do usually vacuum after every meal just because it gets so bad under there, but it's all contained to this area. So when I'm cleaning my kitchen, I try and clear off the benches and then give everything a quick vacuum. And as long as that's done a couple of times a day, even if it's not perfect every time, it keeps things moving. I don't know about you guys, but I love to clean with YouTube on in the background. So if you don't follow Amanda from The Fundamental Home already, you should totally follow her. She's one of my favorite people to watch or listen to as the case may be. But if you guys do this, let me know because I am totally guilty of putting YouTube videos on while I clean. We got all the time in the world For better or worse We should stay together So let's stay young and in love We should fall These rooms that I'm cleaning now So the kitchen and the back living area, dining room area are the rooms that we spend the most time in. And so they are where I'm going to concentrate my cleaning on, especially if I'm not feeling well. So I did actually time myself and the time to clean these three rooms or this large area was exactly 16 minutes. So I know that this is a great use of my time, especially when I'm not feeling well. Okay guys, I just lied down for a little while. Hamish is up from his nap and the time is 12.49. So I am just going to make some baked potatoes in the microwave um, for the kids for lunch with some other bits and pieces. And then I'm gonna get stuck into some washing and all sorts of things. But again, I'm just gonna do this and then have a break and then move on to that. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we're doing. One of my favorite things to do is to talk to the kids while they're eating, whether it's breakfast, lunch or dinner. Often I'll just have one at a time up here at the bench and I absolutely love it. They get a chance to tell me about what's been going on and even if we've been together the whole day, it's one of my favorite parts of the day. It's true. Something I find really helpful is to just clean as I go. That way I'm limiting the amount of time I'm spending on my feet, which is one of the hardest things for me. So as I'm working with the kids, we're talking about cupcakes, they're finishing up their lunch. Anytime a dish is finished or a bench is finished, I'll either put it in the dishwasher or wipe it down. And it just means that once the kids are finished lunch, I'm finished in the kitchen as well. This is the media room at the front of our house and it's where our blue couch is for now, but we are gonna upgrade to a bigger couch so we can all sit down in there.
This is our girls room and of course it's not super important to get done and my girls are really good at keeping it tidy but I just find a quick two minute clean in here just helps me to make the whole house feel put together. So guys, this is actually the next day. Um, from what I recorded yesterday, I had to go and pick up our car. It had a little scratch fix. So I had to go and pick up our car but I thought I would talk to you a little bit about my new toy. I'm sure you've seen me use it in this video. I have wanted a Dyson for a long, long time. And finally, I bit the bullet and bought one and I love it. This is a V7. Um, I'll still use my robot from time to time, but just because this is a bigger home, I'm finding it way easier. And I just, we've got, I'm sure you see from the videos, we've got really dark carpets, which is great, but they show every bit of fluff. And so I can vacuum the whole house every day so quickly. I absolutely love it. And it was thanks to you guys, because this was, this is the first thing I've bought for YouTube that wasn't for making videos. So I am so excited and it's kind of like my little gift from you guys for watching the ads and um, it's really special. It's, it's like I'm cleaning with you every time I use it and I just love it. Just yesterday was our one year anniversary from when we first started Small Changes and I'm so grateful to you guys. I love hearing from you. You guys share your life with me and that is so special. I am just a mama talking to a camera in my lounge room. And so it still blows my mind that so many of you watch and comment and share and let me into your world. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for, for watching. And I've got a giant pile of laundry to fold because one of my tricks when I'm not feeling good is I just keep washing the washing every day and then I catch up with the folding when I'm feeling a little bit better or if I've got some downtime I can sit down and do that. So I'm going to get to that now and I thought I might just answer a few of the questions I get quite a few times about our move and our new home so I, if you have had some of these questions I'll answer them now. Okay, so this is my washing I have to fold. I know it's crazy. Some of the questions I've got a few times were, are we going to have a family closet at this house? And the answer to that is probably not. I love it. And in fact, I miss it so much. But we really want to kind of foster some independence in the kids in the area of their clothes and getting them to put it away. And I also, we also just wanted to kind of make our bedroom space a little bit less of a thoroughfare. I have no problem with the kids being in my room and you know, I, we don't shut our door or anything, but we just thought, look, if their clothes are in their room, they're not coming in there all the time. They're not leaving stuff everywhere. So at the moment, the girl's stuff is in their room, Seth, his stuff is in his room and Hamish's stuff is in our walk-in wardrobe. However, you know me, like nothing is set in stone if we get to the point where we feel like we should move it back together, then I'll just change it. But for right now, it's working okay. I'm still working out the kinks, but it, we're getting there. Then the other question is, I could, I've had this quite a few times, which is, do I miss my big windows and my view? Uh, and if I'm honest, I, 
I miss the people from our old home much more than I miss the view. I do actually have a very pretty view. I'll show you a clip if I can. Out my, I think this is like the dining area, but I don't really use it for that right now. But out this window here, we have a beautiful view out to the mountains and it's really pretty. There's like some houses up there and it's quite pretty to look out there. So I enjoy that and I've, I've been so busy. I feel like I haven't even had time to miss it. It's just started to heat up here. So I think I'll miss the beach when it gets warm. But my mum who lives like five, 10 minutes away, she has a pool. My sister, the home that she lives in has a pool. We have passes for a water park, which is not far away. A lot of the parks around here have a splash pad type thing. So I'm not, yeah, we'll have plenty of water play even without the beach and the pool at home. So, but I'm, I'm sure I'll meet, miss the beach more once the summer comes full force. So yeah, I'm trying to think of what some of the other questions were. Have we sorted out school for the girls? Sort of. In Australia, we have four terms a year and so they, they have a break each time. So I've just been, we've just been working through some schoolwork here at home and then hopefully we'll start a fresh at the beginning of term four. I also, I, I haven't talked about my health in quite a while. It is on a few videos, but just in case you're curious, because I know I've mentioned my health in this video, and I usually get questions after I talk about it. What I have is a disorder called sphincter of body dysfunction. And basically for me, there's like three different kinds, but for me, my body does not process animal fat at all. And my body can't break down food very well. So I, I'm very susceptible to getting jaundice and pancreatitis and it happens quite regularly for me and so I know what it feels like when those things are coming on so usually I can catch it but if not I have to go into the hospital and have antibiotics to get rid of it so that's what it is it's annoying but praise the Lord I can make it through without too much medical intervention so I take pancreatic enzymes to try and help and I know just so you guys know I have tried like everything I've tried I've gone to naturopaths I've tried essential oils I've tried every diet under the sun I've tried every supplement under the sun and I'm just at the point where I'm like you know what we're managing and it's great and I'm going to have bad days. I'm going to have good days. I know a lot of you out there also suffer from chronic illness, which is kind of why I made this video. It is, it, it is just what it is. And yeah, that's it. So guys, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this little vlog. I'm going to keep folding here. You guys can fold along at home with me. Let me know down in the comments. If you're new, we would absolutely love to have you subscribe, join our community. Uh, here's some other videos we think you might like, and I will catch all of you guys in the next one.